what is going on guys digital gamer here and today's video i'm going to be giving you guys my first impressions on the last of us remastered on the playstation 4 but before we get into this video i just wanted to say i'm looking for someone to make me an intro for my youtube channel and my videos so if you guys are good with that put a link in the description down below to some work that you've done and one other thing i'd like to thank my buddy dj potenza for letting me use his music in my intro and i just want to say you guys go help him out go vote for his mix get him to that number one spot so he can play in front of thousands of people so go help him out guys show him what the digital army is all about and go vote for him i would really appreciate it and a lot of if a lot of you guys vote i'll possibly even do a giveaway to reward you guys so keep that in mind that there might be a giveaway if a lot of you guys vote and help out my friend so i just bought last of us remastered and i cannot say any much more other than i absolutely love the game now there are some glitches in the game and in the background this is just some last of us multiplayer gameplay and multiplayer is really good i find it really fun how you can choose between survivors and fireflies and you can really battle it out and the way you get more stuff is by getting more survivors which you do by playing games and getting supplies for your people so I find that very good and very refreshing for a multiplayer game type. And The Last of Us Remastered on the PlayStation is an absolute great game. If you guys have not gotten it on the PlayStation 3, you have to get it on the PlayStation 4 if you have one. It is just a gem of a game and you cannot pass it up. The story is just so captivating and it follows Joel and Ellie. As you try to get Ellie to the doctors because she has the cure. So, once again... If you guys have not gotten the game, you guys have to absolutely get the game. So when I first booted up the game, I was already so captivated and really motivated to play this game because it's so just heartwarming and the story is great. And there are some problems though. I feel that when they ported it to the PlayStation 4 under the name Remastered, there are a lot of glitches. Now these aren't game breaking glitches, but it is very frustrating. As I'm playing on the hardest difficulty possible, the little glitches will get me killed a lot. So, some of the glitches, for example, is that I'll be fighting, I'll be behind cover, and all of a sudden I'll just die, which is really weird. Or I'll be punching an infected, and then all of a sudden I'm on the ground and he's just beating the shit out of me, and I'm dead. Like, some of these glitches can really get to me because I need to be focused, I need to be on point i can't get distracted because the littlest things will get you killed in this game so i like i focus i get these guys dead but then all of a sudden a glitch comes along and i die out of nowhere now keep in mind that even though i'm on the hardest difficulty this is just some minor problems and it's not game breaking but other than that the game is absolutely amazing i've only been playing it for about five six hours and i'm already loving it uh i haven't dove too much into the multiplayer i've only played the one game which you guys are viewing right now and the multiplayer right now just right off the bat is great i find the maps are refreshing i find that the gameplay of having to buy your ammo after every round and you really having to preserve your ammo or else you'll have no ammo and going around the map and getting those little things to craft items like the scissors and the bandages i find that really good i find the game very different from other shooters and it's good because i'm i find my opinion that shooters are getting very very generic nowadays call of duty is just rinse and repeat every time oh we're adding some new stuff oh but here's some new maps and then we're gonna release dlc of us just remaking a couple maps from last year like, I don't know, uh, me personally, I'm not a big fan of Call of Duty. I like Battlefield, Battlefield's really good, but that's not important right now because we're talking about Last of Us. So, for my first impressions, so far I can say I absolutely love it and highly recommend it to anyone that is a fan of Naughty Dog's work. Now, usually when I play a game, I'll choose the hardest difficulty because sometimes I'll just run through it too fast and I don't really get to enjoy it too much. But... With this game, I think I might have screwed up by choosing the hardest difficulty. Now, you can change this in the options, but I have not checked the trophies on this game yet, but I'm hoping that there is a trophy for completing it on the hardest difficulty and it unlocks the other ones. I might try to get this game on 100% trophy-wise 
it can be very difficult because I'll probably have to go and replay the game a couple times to get some stuff. But other than that, playing it on the hardest difficulty really makes you appreciate the amount of ammo that you have because you will not find anything. You, if, if you're lucky, you will find some items, but it's very, very hard because when you play on the hardest difficulty, they make sure that you have to really conserve your ammo. You don't want to be wasting it on certain enemies. You're going to generally want to save all your ammo for when you fight clickers or not really infected because you can face them just using your fist and beating the shit out of them. But this is very hard because you're going to really want to keep all your ammo. I've gotten stuck on some parts because I wasted all my ammo just before that. And I've been stuck on a part for two hours last night. And let me tell you, it was extremely frustrating because all I had was two arrows for my bow. And an arrow can one shot a clicker if you get in the head, two shots in the body. And for regular infected, it just takes one shot. But this is very hard because they will swarm you if you make too much noise. So what I recommend is be patient. Take your time throughout the game and really enjoy this game because you do not want to rush through it and you want to find all those little hidden gems in the game and I especially find the notes are a nice touch of finding notes left behind from other people so if I had to give this a rating I would definitely give this a uh, 10 wounded Joels out of 10 I mean just an absolutely great game I highly recommend it to anyone that has a PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 and if you haven't had the pleasure of playing it on the PlayStation 3 and you did buy a PlayStation 4, go out right now and get it. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I cannot express that enough. And once again, before I let you guys go, uh, want to just say again, looking for a guy to make intros for my videos, just one intro really, uh, custom one in Cinema 4D or something, whatever, just put a comment below if you guys are able to do that and stuff. And then also, once again, want to give a thanks to DJ Potenza for letting me use his music, good friend of mine, and go vote for him. I cannot express this enough because he will get a chance to play in front of 10,000 people. And this is a crazy, crazy opportunity. So show him what you guys are able to do, part of the digital army. So go and vote for him. I'll also leave his SoundCloud and the link to vote for him in the description. So go do that. And if enough people, like if you guys vote a lot and stuff, there may be a giveaway to reward you guys for helping him out. I mean, I'm sure he'll probably pitch, so maybe we'll be able to do a bigger giveaway or something. I don't know. It all depends. I have to talk it over to him. But uh, I know I'll be doing a giveaway for you guys if you guys help him out and stuff because you guys are the digital army. So go help him out. Go in the description down below. Click on that link and go vote for him. All you have to do is connect to Facebook. Thanks again, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We ain't gonna survive this.